everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Sam and it is lovely to meet you. If you're not new around here, welcome back to the fun house. So today, if you haven't already guessed by the thumbnail, I picked up a few products from Say uh, when they released their new uh, foundation. So we're going to test them. I, I picked up the foundation, the super glowy gel primer and their translucent setting powder. So I'm going to put these to the test and see whether they're any good we're going to do a full wear test and yeah i'm really really excited so let's just dive into it if you are interested in foundation reviews if you like to see me test foundations and see if they're any good i have normal to dry skin if you want to stick around don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave today i picked up first of all their glowy super gel um just came in this nice box this has two shades this is a star glow and i forgot what the other one was it was like a deeper shade um i love the packaging it's a glass bottle um it's like that like frosted glass and it does have a pump i'm just going to read you a little bit about this first off as i said i picked mine up in the shade star glow um, it says, welcome to the glowiest, lightest weight luminizer. Wear it alone or under or mixed with foundation, tinted SPF as a primer or over any look for a super glowy finish. Feels like nothing, looks like everything. Side note, it's recyclable. Um, and yeah, so it's good for brightening, anti-inflammatory, nourishing and hydrating, which I love. How do we use it? How to use use one to two pumps and apply after any serum oil or untinted moisturizer so i've used my moisturizer i'm all ready to go then glow your way mix a few or you can mix a few drops into foundation use it alone for an easy no makeup moment prime with it under foundation or tinted spf looks amazing over makeup too use it for an all over glow on your face or anywhere you, you bear like chest and collarbones, shoulders and legs. So I think this would be really, really good in the summer. Um, it's a water-based glowy super gel, plays well with most foundations as long as it isn't too oily. If you're not sure, test it on your hand. So we're gonna give it a shake and I'm just gonna show you what this one looks like. And yeah. So that's kind of the texture of it. Does it look like anything? And we're just gonna, well, it's very lightweight, very lightweight. And yeah, it's got a beautiful glow to it. I think that is very, very pretty. The next thing that I picked up was their new, brand new, um, foundation so i've seen this all over instagram i haven't seen many people do a review on it yet so i was super excited to get it and the one thing that i actually really liked was the fact that it launched everywhere i'm pretty sure on the same day so it, it launched in america it launched in the uk i was really really happy about that also, they were doing like, if you sent them a picture of yourself up via Instagram, they were sending you skin matches, like skin tones, what they thought would be your perfect shade. This does come in 36 shades, which I think is flipping amazing um, for a lightweight, luminous foundation. I think that's really, really good. Um, and let's read some claims. They matched me to either be a six or an eight, which I was like, well, I'm not buying two. Um, this does retail for like 34 pounds. I forgot what that was. That was 20 of Cult Beauty, the um, serum. But yeah, so this was 34 pounds. So not like cheap. And I haven't ever tested the brand before. So I was a little bit like, you know, it's, it's quite expensive for, you know, what it is. But it is available on Cult Beauty. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but as I said, I was really glad that they bought out so many shades. That's really, really good. Um, so it's 85% skincare serum, which is amazing. 15% whiteness pigment, 100% your best skin ever. Our lightweight luminous serum foundation provides true to skin, medium buildable coverage and is packed with clinically tested skincare ingredients for vis visibly hydrated, plump and brighter skin. A lot of claims. Um, our high potassium breathable formula contains our propriety 
hydrobates complex with skin improving benefits and whiteness pigments that blend with skin's outermost barrier for that freshly applied look all day. The result is hydrated whiteness coverage that will make you forget you're wearing foundation at all. Okay, again, some, some you know, some big claims there and I've just clicked off while I was reading, so that's amazing. Okay, how to, oh for God's sake, this is my boyfriend's phone and it's absolutely shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just like, it just does its own thing. It's like as old as the hills, it's older than me. <clears throat> okay, while that's doing its own little thing, I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you what it looks like. Exactly the same packaging um, as the primer and this. So, so I said, they match me at a six or an eight. So I went for the shade six just because I thought, mm, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna go. Obviously that seven was too dark, which I don't really understand. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh my God, this phone. Okay, let's have a look what it's about, how to use. Now, I'm pretty sure you're meant to really, really give this a shake. Uh, yeah, shake to activate the formula because of its high concentration of skincare ingredients, separation is totally normal. Dispense half to one pump, pump directly onto the base brush or your fingertips. Press into the skin using the base brush or fingertips like you would your skincare serum. If you're using the base brush, gently press the brush downwards with the hairs instead of upwards. I'm not going to be using their brush. Uh, set with air set using the fluffy brush for a flawless finish. Pro tip, add glowy super gel to add to added glow. But, you know, we're not going to do that. Just going to give it a good shake. It is very, very liquidy. I can hear it in the bottle. Um, so, yeah, let's just give it a good shake up. And let's just do a little pump. I hope this is going to be a good shade. Oh my god, do you see? That is that was literally just. I feel like this is going to be a little bit too warm for me. Okay, that is going to go a long way. Okay. Oh, what are we thinking about the shade? I don't. It's okay. We'll test it. We'll test it. But it's very, very liquidy. So definitely be careful. <laughs> be. For. And last but not least, I bought the the translucent powder. Uh, this is just a radiant loose setting powder. Um, set smooth and diffuse with our un unbelievably weightless and radiant loose powder. Patented aerated cream technology delivers a translucent sheen and provides a natural velvety finish to the skin. So yeah, it's talc free. Great. So let's dive in, let's prime the skin, let's zoom in and let's, I'm not going to put this all over my skin, I don't think I'm going to put it like on the high points I think, maybe I'll just like around the edges um, and then I'll go in, I'll go on my pore list, I'm just using the P. Louise Block O'Clock Pore List Primer just because I know that this works well with my other foundations though. I'm really into like that glowy kind of skin look at the moment. I know it's like all the rage. So obviously I had to buy this and the claims obviously, you know, they're quite high up. So I'm very interested. I didn't even show you what, the, what that powder looked like, but we'll dive into that when we get there. I'm going to do brush on one side um, and sponge on the other, you know the drill. But I think for the serum and for the primer, I'm just going to use my fingertips, I think. I'm just going to square a little bit onto the back of my hand. This is not as runny. Oh, but it's really hard to pick up. Okay, so I'm just going to do it like that and then maybe like that. It's definitely really lightweight. I don't know if it's going to like dry down to become quite a tacky base as I would love um, normally. It's just, you know, let's just pat it. I haven't put it everywhere, but you know, it is definitely glowy. Like, definitely. But 
Can I get the same sort of glow from my e.l.f. halo glow? Yeah, I think I think I can. Just gonna pat that into the skin. As we all know, I love e.l.f. halo glow. But you know, if this, oh, it smells really nice. Oh, it smells luxury. Ooh, I, I do like that smell. I do like the smell. It's definitely given me the glow underneath and it's definitely getting a little bit sticky so I think it's going to be a definitely a good um, base. But we'll see. Obviously, we'll see. And this is the foundation. I don't think shaking this is going to make it any thicker. To be quite honest, I'll do brush first and I'm trying to just do like one pump. Is that it? It's like it's like water <laughs> okay let's pray that this is a good skin match and we will test out that it, if it is buildable so brush first I'm just going in with my morphe brush I'm scared to put my hand down because it might just like run everywhere Okay, so firstly, off the bat, it's definitely not <laughs> giving me a whole lot of coverage. Um, I would say it's more light to medium. So let's see whether we can build it up. And like, I have like this, it's not a spot, it's just like a mole type thing. I do have a spot this side though, so that'll be interesting to see whether it covers it okay definitely gonna add some more i don't know actually it does it is a bit more of a medium but i say light to medium i wouldn't say that this is like medium to full or medium buildable at all it's very lightweight though i don't feel like i've got anything on my skin which you know i absolutely love i have got a dog hair though can, can you come off please okay let's try and build this up a little bit more because you know it's buildable as it says I'm just going to add a little bit more maybe that half pump I want to be able to can you hear my dogs obviously show you guys like because if you're wanting a medium coverage foundation and this you know it's only giving a lightweight well light sorry it might not be the one for you it's definitely lightweight is what i was gonna say definitely sitting nice on my fine lines i like that it hasn't clung to any dry patches as of yet okay i think that's pretty much yeah okay it's a good is it a good skin match yeah it seems to be i think they sh they did a good, a good shade match for me definitely think the eight might have been too dark maybe the eight would be a good um what is the word i'm after fake tan shade so I'm happy about that. Okay, first off the bat, I would say light to medium. Definitely medium. Definitely. I wouldn't say it's any more than medium. It's definitely not built it on a full, but it's just cancel it. I do have like a little bit of redness. Obviously, I've got that to cancel that out. And it is very glowy. It is sitting on the skin really nice and glowy right around here, which is what I like. Um, yeah it looks very healthy and I think it does look very skin like very skin like I'm going to try and show you this in natural lighting as well but I think it's starting to rain so I'll try my best I might just sit in the window um, just to show you okay so let's do the other side here. let's do another pump Let's give it a shake actually first. Don't know how quickly it separates. 
and let's use a brush. I feel like if you can see the, where, where I've put it bef before, like here, does it look like it's oxidising? I really hope it doesn't oxidise. Okay, I definitely think I've got enough on this side now. Let's use me Cocoa by Chloe Cosmetics Marshmallow Sponge, as I always do. See whether we can get that medium coverage because obviously sponges soak up a lot of product and the, I think this is water based as well so it's definitely gonna uh, yeah so it's water based so it's gonna soak up even more so let's see if we can get a medium coverage I mean it says that you can apply it with your fingers see this spot down here I mean, it's kind of cancelled it out has it obviously done wonders and covered it up but I will build it up for you as you can see I prefer to apply my foundations with a sponge anyway I'm just going to sponge that actually um, Just I just feel like it looks more seamless Has it, it actually looks a lot more glowier on the sponge side, I would say. And to be quite honest, you can't tell. You can't tell at all. I have this glow here. I still have the glow here, if not more, because obviously it's soaked up a bit of the product, so you still have that um, coming through. Has it clung to any dry patches? Yeah, I'm just going all off with my sponge now just to make sure everything is even. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and put on my concealer and then we're going to test out the powder. But so far, this is flipping glowy. This is really nice. Whether it's going to dry down, that is another question. But we'll see. I'm going to go and add my concealer, my cream products, and then we'll add some, and I'll see whether this is going to dry down at all. Um, if it doesn't, I will have to powder my whole face because I can't stand stickiness. Um, but I'm hoping that's a luminous powder. Is it say luminous? Did I say luminous? Yeah, it's a luminous powder. So I'm hoping that it'll kind of, you know. Let's get into the powder. Exactly the same sort of box. How much powder do you get in here? doesn't say four grams not a fat lot this is the packaging which i i absolutely love i think that's really really nice feel like it's gonna get a little bit dirty though but it is what it is and my cream products went on top absolutely fine no problems and i love the fact that it has this kind of like open and close i really like that i'm gonna take off that sticky jesus and tap it in to the lid okay it doesn't come out the best okay that's a bit annoying so like it blocks off okay that is a bit shit okay we're on a roll now we're on a roll give it a good tap and let's see how well this is going to blur my dry eyes. that is what I'm most interested in just get some on my little Artitude Cosmetics powder puff I'm gonna then tap that all over the back and distribute the product all over the puff and then we're just gonna pat under the eye I'm going to see really work that product in I'm hoping for a miracle, guys. I am hoping for a miracle. Let's have a look. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It doesn't make my eyes look um, like I've been out in the desert for six months, which I'm glad about. Let's just tap that off again. Let's do the other side. I use my Lancome concealer. Uh, 
and I've just I'm just gonna set down my tea zone. I've decided I'm gonna be brave and set down my tea zone today. Okay, first impressions of the powder, it does not look um like it's gonna make my under eyes look, you know, fifty years older than what they are. Hoping that it will keep that concealer in place. Let's just do the T zone. It's not like very powdery, if that makes sense. Some powders can be like, you know, too powdery and just make you look like you've been in the desert for six months. That is not my vibe. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, finish off the rest of my makeup put all my powders on top we'll come back test whether this has dried down or not and yeah we'll see we'll see we're hoping hoping that it dries down because i do like the fact that we've still got that glow coming through my cream products so all my makeup is now on please ignore the hair it's it's, it's saturday it needs to be fair it's dying it's just it's an absolute mess but i'm going to try and take you over to the natural light now so you can see kind of how it's looking on my skin and yeah and then we'll do some check-ins throughout the day i might always do one because i'm i'm really busy but i'll try and do two i'll try and do two we'll see this is it in natural light i'm just here by the big window and just wanted to kind of show you what it looked like yeah i'm happy with how it's sitting on my skin at the moment i don't have oily skin so i don't i'm gonna have to powder this throughout the day so it'll be really interesting to see how it sits on normal to dry skin and i'll see you in all in a few hours for checking we're back it is currently 6 30 now this is the only checking that i am actually going to do today just because it's Mother's Day tomorrow and I just want to put my feet up in my pyjamas and relax. So this is the only check-in that I'm going to be doing. If you want me to do a check-in where it's a lot longer, then let me know down below. I don't mind doing that because if this is something that you're going to be wearing for like 10, 12 hours, I could definitely do that. But it's held up amazing for the six hours that it's been on. It's like 6.30 like I said. And it's actually gotten better as the day has gone on I, I don't have many foundations that do that where they start to look better <laughs> as the day goes on uh but yeah this is still looking very glowy on the top of my head not oily not shiny just just glowy which is very nice and glowy it's still on the cheeks i went to town and it was really warm in there and i was really sweating like on my top lip and it hasn't like separated or anything. I was and like I was sweating around here. It hasn't like settled into my fine lines, like my smile lines. I always find that makeup rubs off on my chin. This hasn't. It hasn't settled into anything on my nose. I always suffer with around the creases of my nose here. Again, I haven't noticed any problems. It has not clung to any dry patches. I am really, really impressed with the foundation. Um, so yeah, I do think that it lives up to its claims. And as I said, it's just gotten like it just looks really glowy, but it doesn't look shiny, greasy, oily. It just looks nice. It just looks really nice and fresh on the skin, which is something that I like. Let's talk about the primer. I don't know whether this primer is a must-have, to be quite honest. I'll definitely give it like some more te like test it out with different foundations, mix it in with foundations, um, maybe even apply it over the top, like you know, like the website said. But as for first impressions, my Elf Halo Glow just just does a good enough job. Um, that you know, I don't feel like I need this. It's very very liquidy. Like when it rubs out, it's just. It's very lightweight and I get that and I feel like that kind of is their um, overall what they're trying to achieve is to have the most lightweight makeup which is great uh, but yeah I'll definitely test it out some more in different ways and give you a little bit of a check-in. Um, this powder is what I'm so impressed with like 
I haven't creased like under my eyes at all. Obviously I have lines, that's just inevitable, but my makeup hasn't settled into those lines. Um, where I have powdered, yeah, nothing separated. I don't have oily skin, uh, but I will powder on top just to kind of show you, I guess, if if this is if you're okay to powder on top of this throughout the day, because I know that some people you know like to and I'll use this powder as well and yeah just see kind of how it would look if I went in obviously if I was like an oily person I guess I did sweat around here so let's just have a look at that yeah it hasn't disrupted any of the makeup underneath it hasn't clung to any area so i definitely would say that if you are oily and i mean i don't think this i don't know if this foundation is going to be for an oily skin type but i will say that you are able to powder it down halfway through the day without it like separating and becoming like a big muddy mess <laughs> to be quite honest uh but yeah so that's just i've just added some powder on it's not disrupted the foundation fine absolutely perfect i really like i really i do quite like this as well when is it as good as my huda i don't know i need to test it some more but it's definitely really really good and that is kind of everything everything i've used on my face today will of course be linked and listed down below i hope that this has helped you out and given you some idea into the brand because for me, it wasn't like a very well talked about brand and I'm glad that I definitely tested it out for you guys today and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.